Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hoffelenia and this is your Noontime Wrap. The latest Pulse Asia survey shows Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte and Senator Grace Poe are now statistically tied at the top spot. Poe drops two percentage points at 26% compared to Duterte's 25, one percentage point up from the previous survey. Vice President Jejumar Binay ranks third with 22%, gaining one percentage point. Administration standard bearer Mar Rojas remains at 26%, while Senator Miriam Santiago is still at 3%. On the vice presidential race, Senator Bongbong Marcos edges out Senator Cheese Escudero for the first time 25 to 24 percent. Marcos climbs three percentage points, while Escudero drops one percentage point. Camarines Sur Representative Lenny Robredo loses one percentage point, 20 percent, from 21 percent, while Senator Alan Peter Cayetano's rating slides to 13 percent from 14 percent. Senator Antonio Trillanes and Senator Gringo Honasan maintain their ratings at 6% and 5% respectively. Follow Rappler.com for continuing updates. One Cebu chairman, Winston Garcia, denies picking another presidential bet after dropping Vice President Jejumar Binay. Grace Post campaign manager Ace Durano claims the party is talking with Post's camp, but Garcia says it's a complete lie. Durano says he had, quote, informal discussions with Congressman Benher Salimbangon about supporting Poe. Garcia adds they dropped Binay as recent events showed that Una did not appreciate or reciprocate loyalty. An alliance with the Garcia clan could give Poe's campaign a boost in Cebu that has 2.7 million voters. Garcia insists his party will not support Poe or anyone else's campaign at the moment. What were the documents Vice President Jejumar Binay wanted to bring to the Cebu presidential debate? Binay earlier said he sees no problem in bringing the documents as long as they follow, quote, the same time restrictions as everyone else. Among the nine documents, his statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth, bank secrecy waiver, and good governance awards. Binay insisted on bringing the documents, saying TV5 allowed them. Other candidates protested, delaying the debate by more than an hour. TV5 executive Luci Cruz Valdez clarified it was a miscommunication and said the Comelex rules prohibit them from bringing notes. And that's the Noontime Wrap. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Join us again at 6 p.m. for today's top news.